Kelly's Heroes, a 1970 war comedy film, takes you on a journey into the chaos of World War II with a mix of humor, shock, and sorrow. As you watch, be prepared for surprising and touching moments that might just redefine your perspective on the classic Hollywood era. Ever wondered about lesser known facts or anecdotes that add an extra layer to the movie's charm? Or perhaps you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor from the ensemble cast. Stay tuned as we unveil some intriguing details that might surprise you. Before we dive in, let us know what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, grab your popcorn, relax, and enjoy the ride through the world of Kelly's Heroes. Released in 1970, Kelly's Heroes, directed by Brian G. Hutton, has left an enduring impact on the cinematic landscape, seamlessly intertwining elements of war, comedy, and adventure. Set against the backdrop of World War II, the film follows a group of soldiers embarking on a daring mission to rob a bank behind enemy lines. What sets this movie apart is its unique blend of genres, challenging traditional war film narratives by injecting humor and camaraderie into the midst of conflict. This departure from the solemnity often associated with war movies contributes to its timeless appeal. Moreover, the ensemble cast, including Clint Eastwood, Telly Savalas, and Donald Sutherland, delivers memorable performances that have become emblematic of the era. Not only did Kelly's heroes entertain audiences, but it also left a lasting mark on the war film genre, influencing subsequent films that sought to replicate its unique formula of action and comedy. The movie's impact extends beyond the screen, remaining a cultural touchstone referenced and revered by filmmakers and audiences alike. Its enduring relevance can be attributed to the exploration of universal themes such as camaraderie, resourcefulness, and the pursuit of individual goals within the collective context of war. The portrayal of soldiers taking matters into their own hands to achieve a personal objective resonates across generations. The humor and wit employed in the storytelling serve as a reminder that even in the direst circumstances, humanity can find moments of levity and connection. In conclusion, Kelly's Heroes stands as a testament to the power of genre-bending storytelling and remains relevant for its ability to captivate audiences with a unique blend of war, humor, and adventure. The film's impact on subsequent works and its enduring appeal underscore its significance in the annals of cinematic history. With timeless themes and memorable characters, it continues to entertain and inspire, showcasing the enduring power of well-crafted storytelling in the realm of filmmaking. Yugoslavia served as the filming location for Kelly's Heroes in 1970 due to unique financial considerations. The country's policy allowed earnings from previous films to remain within its borders, facilitating the funding of the movie. Additionally, Yugoslavia possessed operational World War II mechanized equipment, simplifying logistical aspects with readily available German and American military gear. The film's timeline remains unspecified, but contextual clues provide a rough estimate. Scenes featuring Big Joe and his men attempting to enter Nancy, France, suggest a time frame around September 15, 1944, when the U.S. Third Army captured the city. Captain Maitland's mention of going to Paris aligns with the city's liberation on August 25, 1944. Oddball, portrayed by Donald Sutherland, commands the Super 6th, the 6th Armored Division within the movie. These details, drawn from a reputable source, shed light on the practical and historical aspects of the film's production and setting. They contribute to a clearer understanding of the context and background of Kelly's heroes, enriching the viewer's perspective on the movie. In a nod to Clint Eastwood's Spaghetti Westerns, Kelly's Heroes features a standoff with a tiger tank reminiscent of the good, the bad, and the ugly. The scene cleverly replicates the iconic ending, complete with a similar musical score and overdubbed Spurs sounds, adding a touch of humor to the film. The three Tiger Eye tanks used in the movie were actually ex-Soviet Army T-34 tanks meticulously converted by Yugoslavian Army specialists. Notably, these differed from the ones in the Battle of Nuritva, showcasing a higher level of detail. Unlike many World War II films of the time, which used unmodified modern tanks, the filmmakers took care to transform the T-34s into convincing Tiger tanks. Oddball Shermans, commanded by Donald Sutherland, were Yugoslavian Army M4A3 E4 Shermans, upgraded post-war to 76 mm in the original 75M turret. 
During filming in Yugoslavia in 1969, Donald Sutherland faced a personal challenge when he learned that his then-wife Shirley Douglas was arrested for attempting to buy hand grenades from an undercover FBI agent for the Black Panthers using a personal check. Clint Eastwood relayed this news, leading to a memorable moment of laughter between the two actors. Despite the personal turmoil, Eastwood provided unwavering support to Sutherland, reinforcing their camaraderie. Sutherland and Douglas, parents of Kiefer Sutherland and twin sister Rachel Sutherland, divorced in 1970. This behind-the-scenes incident adds a human touch to the production of Kelly's Heroes, showcasing the personal challenges faced by the cast during the filming process. These insights, derived from a reputable source, provide a unique perspective on the film's production and the experiences of the actors involved, enriching the viewer's understanding of Kelly's heroes. In Kelly's Heroes, Clint Eastwood's character, Kelly, sports an officer's olive drab fatigue shirt with epaulets reflecting his busted lieutenant rank. Notably, enlisted men's shirts lack these epaulets, showcasing attention to military detail. Oddball, played by Donald Sutherland, adds pipes to his tank guns, aiming for a more intimidating appearance. Interestingly, historical reports reveal that during World War II, crews of up-armed Sherman tanks with longer barrels like oddballs often tried to conceal them, recognizing that longer barrels drew more enemy fire. At the movie's outset, Telly Savalas' character, Big Joe, consults a Michelin tourist guide book for information about accommodations in Nancy, echoing the accurate use of such guides by Allied troops in World War II. During the Normandy invasion, troops carried Michelin guides, as the U.S. government had quietly reprinted the 1939 edition due to wartime publication suspensions. These details, sourced from a reputable platform, offer a nuanced perspective on Kelly's heroes, providing insights into character costumes, tank modifications, and historical accuracy in depicting wartime practices. Clint Eastwood left his mark on Kelly's heroes not only as an actor, but also as a singer. He recorded Burning Bridges, the film's theme song, turning it into a 45 RPM single released by Sertron Records. The B-side, When I Loved Her, sung by Eastwood, was written by Chris Christopherson. This musical edition provided a unique dimension to the movie, showcasing Eastwood's versatility. Oddball, portrayed by Donald Sutherland, carried a Luger P-08 Parabellum pistol in the film. This semi-automatic weapon, in service in Switzerland, Finland, and Germany, likely found its way into Oddball's hands from a captured or KIA, German officer. The inclusion of authentic weaponry added realism to the portrayal of the characters. A subtle yet significant detail in Kelly's heroes is the blue crosshair shoulder patch worn by Kelly and his men, indicating their affiliation with the 35th Infantry Division. This National Guard division comprised guardsmen from Missouri, Nebraska, and Kansas. The incorporation of this patch subtly highlighted the characters' background and added authenticity to their military representation. These insights, drawn from a reliable source, offer a deeper understanding of the film's elements. Clint Eastwood's musical contribution, Donald Sutherland's authentic portrayal of Oddball's weaponry, and the use of the 35th Infantry Division's insignia all contribute to the nuanced layers within Kelly's heroes. The movie, beyond its storyline, becomes a rich tapestry of details that enhance the viewer's experience. In the 1990s, a group of Swedish war game enthusiasts undertook a meticulous project crafting a 172-scale model of the town central to the movie's plot. Their commitment to accuracy led them to Vizanada, now in Croatia, where they hired a pilot to capture aerial photos for precision. However, their dedication raised suspicions, and Croatian authorities briefly detained them, suspecting espionage. Fortunately, they were released after a brief interrogation. Clint Eastwood's involvement in the film traces back to his close association with director Don Siegel, a friend and personal favorite. He initially set to direct, Siegel faced challenges during the post-production of another project and had to step down. Brian G. Hutton took over as the director, and despite the change, Eastwood, having committed to the film, remained on board. The German Tiger tank commander in the movie, played by Carl Otto Alberti, appears to parody Marlon Brando's portrayal of German Lieutenant Christian Diesel in The Young Lions. Both in appearance and manner of speaking, the characterization pays homage, or perhaps pokes fun at Brando's earlier role. These details, extracted from a reputable source, provide additional layers to the understanding of the film.
The enthusiast's dedication to model accuracy, the behind-the-scenes directorial shift, and the nod to Brando's portrayal contribute intriguing dimensions to the narrative, enhancing the viewer's perspective on the production of the film.